Hello guys, welcome to Datri Solutions. Today I am going to show you a website called Online Auction. This online auction system will generate a high demand for an item. The people may have some products which they do not use like antiquities. Those products remain like waste in the storeroom. At the same time, someone need, someone is not buying the same product which the person needs because the products is unable to buy. The product which people do not want to want any longer, so they can sell to another who really wanted the product. The people who want to sell that product also can sell because they do not uh, because because they do not know who to sell. So we are going to do a project to avoid these situations and make them sell what they want to what they want at high cost. We are going to make a platform to sell and buy the products within the automated auction system. So coming to the flow diagram of the website, this is the flow diagram of the website. Here the admin will log in into the website with the login credentials like email address and password. After logging into the website, the admin can add and view the locations to the website and add and view the categories to the website uh, by giving the category names the admin can add the categories to the website and after adding the categories the admin will add the subcategories based on the categories so after adding the categories or subcategories so admin can add the delivery partners partners and view the delivery partners in the same page so after adding the delivery partners the sellers will log in, register into the website with the registration details like name, email, password, address like this. The seller will register into the website. After registration, the sell, uh, admin can view the sellers and verify the sellers by clicking the verified button. After verifying the sellers, the sellers will log in into the website. So without verification of the admin, the seller will not log in into the website and he is not allowed to the website. Okay. Then the seller of uh, after entering into the website the seller can add and the products for the bidding so after adding the products the seller can view the products which are added by him and after adding the products to the website the buyer will register into the website with the name email password phone address so like this the register buyer will register into the website after registration the buyer will log in into the website with the registered email address and password after entering into the website the buyer can view the biddings which are added by the seller so bidded products will be displayed on the view biddings page view bidded products page so after viewing the products the buyer can bid the products by entering the money amount of the products and these all bidded products will be displayed on the my biddings so in this my biddings page we have two buttons like add amount to the wallet and transfer amount to my bank so after bidding the buyer can add this amount to the wallet and if they want to transfer the amount to the bank they'll uh, transfer the amount to the bank by clicking the transfer amount to bank button so after bidding the seller can view the biddings which are done by the buyer and after viewing the biddings the seller can add the delivery partner to that particular biddings so after adding the particular delivery partner the delivery partner will log in into the website with the email address and password and he will assign the uh, service locations uh, to the website. So he will add the service locations which are available to him. So he will add the locations. Based on those service locations, the seller will select the delivery partner and choose the assign the delivery partner to the products. So after adding the assigning the delivery partner, the delivery partner can view the assigned products in the view assigned page so after viewing the del uh, products the delivery partner can, can give the delivery to buyer and make that says make the status as delivered after clicking the make as delivered button the product will be completely delivered to the 
buyer and after receiving the products the buyer can click on the make as received button and the change the status as received product like this so this is the flow diagram of the website we'll see the output of this website so this is the output here we have four modules like admin seller buyer and delivery partner so let's get let's get into the output so we'll see the output here here i'm logging into the admin page so admin and login into the admin page with the ad username and password so this is the admin home page here the admin can add the locations to the website by clicking the add new locations button so here i'm adding the location add so admin can view the locations here in the same page so add categories by giving the category name admin will add the categories to the website so in the same page the categories will be displayed and this is a subcategories page here the admin can add the subcategories based on the categories so by selecting the category so add subcategory added to the website so after adding the subcategory delivery partners will be assigned name delivery partner email address email password gender age and address address and by clicking the add delivery boy button the admin will add the delivery boys to the website and this is the delivery boy which are added by the admin here the delivery boys will be displayed so after adding the delivery boys the seller will log in into the website before login, they will register into the website with uh, by, by selecting the location and by giving a name and phone number, email address, password, and gender, age. An address register after registration the seller will the admin will add, uh, verify the sellers before uh, without verifying the admin the seller will not get into the website so we will check the process so here I am giving the email address and password of the seller so without verification we will log in so there is no way to get into the website so here the status will be changed your account not verified so I am getting to the admin again and admin can view the sellers in the view sellers page and by clicking the verify seller button the status will be changed at verified so after verification the seller will log in into the website this is the seller home page here the seller will add the products to the website by selecting the category and subcategory product name price picture from date and to date Website. 
add to bidding so after adding the products the products will be displayed in the view products page here the view products page and the seller will check the biddings in this page so we don't have any buyers so we don't have biddings so log out from the seller and i'm registering as a buyer so here the buyer can choose the location and by entering the name phone number email address password gender age and address register after registration the buyer will get logged into the website with the registered email address and password this is the home page here the products will be displayed to the buyer so i'm bidding the amount here so by clicking the bid button pay the amount so after clicking the pay the amount button the buyer will reach into the payment method so this is the card number. This card number must be in 16 digits. And this is CV number. Expiry date of the card. By clicking the pay button, the bidded, bidding will be placed. So after bidding, the biddings will be stored in the My Biddings page. So if the buyers can want to cancel the biddings, though they can click on the cancel bidding button and they'll cancel the biddings of the products so by clicking the profile they will check their profiles in the profile page and here we have two buttons called add amount to wallet and uh, transfer amount to bank so by clicking the add amount add amount to wallet the buyer can add the amount to the wallet the name card number CV number date of expiry card expiry date so confirm to payment so like this we will add the amount to wallet and transfer the amount to bank by entering the money and bank name account number this account number will be in 16 digits to transfer to bank account successfully so after bidding the buyer the seller will go to seller again and here the seller login page in this page the seller can view the biddings of the buyer and by choosing the delivery buy the seller can dispatch, dispatch the order to buy no, delivery boy so after dispatching the order the delivery boy will get login into the website with the email address and password password and sign this is the delivery boy home page here the delivery boy can add the service locations so by selecting the service location we add the service locations to the website and after adding those the delivery boy can view the 
assign products and connect the products by clicking the collect to product button and make as delivered. After clicking the make as delivered button, the product status will be changed. The buyer can check the product. So, this is the buyer products. The status will be changed as product delivered by delivery partner. And after receiving the product, the buyers can change the status as received. So, by clicking this make as received button, the by your status will be changed as delivered so like this the application will be processed so hope you guys all understand this website thank you